What's up you horror nerds? I'm so excited to show you what is right here. Now this is from an RACC trusted seller. Um, I've been after this for a very long time. I was looking for this specific director. Um, I was hoping some of the um, autograph companies that I deal with would get some famous um, directors and producers, but unfortunately they are not really cut out for that. Um, so in the RACC group, there's like thousands and thousands of people in there who've been collecting autographs since I was in diapers and it's insane what people have like in their, um, in their like cupboards or whatever you want to say, like stacked and stashed away. So this was actually pretty affordable. I thought it was going to be expensive. It was 74.99 euros, but then I converted it into Canadian dollars. So it was about like a hundred, I want to say 120 um 120 canadian dollars but then i had to pay duties which wasn't too bad it was like 23 dollars to get it over the border but this is like extremely freaking uh, rare it is an eight by ten so here we go i wanted his um autograph specifically on the underworld photo and here we go. Oh, there we go. It is authenticated. That's cool. Okay, so this is signed by Len Wiseman. If you guys don't know who Len Wiseman is, he is the uh, director and writer of um, the Underworld series. Yes, he was married to Kate Beckinsale, which is the leading lady who plays Celine in all of the Underworld films. And then they got divorced. I can't even remember how many years ago, but they were married. I they They actually met on set of Underworld, and then they kind of just hit things off from there. So this is one, I would say this This doesn't, um, I think the person who has it has one more of them, but it's mainly on like a photo of him like actually directing and like producing. Um, <clears throat> but when I buy autographs, I look for the celebrity who's specifically in character in that movie, if that makes sense. So I, it made sense for me to get this one because he is the director and writer of the Underworld series. So that's really cool. So now I have like... I, I wouldn't say he's like a legendary director. I said he's like one of the like the many ones that I'm sought after. Um, it is a ACOA certified, so that sticker right here matches this card right there. A ACOA is a pretty uh, good um, authentication company. It's coming out of the thing. Um, I would say if you're ever looking for an autograph, stick with JSA um, and stick with Beckett and stick with ACOA because them so far they have they don't like sign like stamp fakes if that makes sense i know psa slash dna um they they have they've been stickering um fakes before which really sucks but i mean the ones that i do have the psa stickers on are actually pretty real um they're not fake at all so yeah but definitely if you ever have any questions or anything in the comment section uh whether it be on my facebook or on my youtube i'll definitely answer for you if you're like like an upcoming like person who's sought after some like you know uh autographs of whatever type i i got you i wouldn't like tell you to and definitely if you're if you join the racc group you should um these guys will tell you if anything is fake or legit but yeah so there you go so now when you see the next one that's coming in the mail i can't fucking wait for you guys to see it so i'll actually have pretty much all of the directors and writers that i want and I think that pretty much completes everything. I'm not after a, um, a Martin Scorsese or anything like that. Nothing too crazy. Um, but I, I bought one recently, which I can't spoil it right now. Um, and I have a Wes Craven downstairs. So that's that's pretty much one of my top girls because unfortunately the guy has passed away. Um, so he's displayed in my glass cabinet, actually signed on a screen uh, piece. It's really sick. So there you go. So leave a like, leave a comment, and tell me what you guys think. Oh, um, the stuff, the stuff, I forgot to sit before I close it off. The movies that he's actually done, too, is not just The Underworlds. He actually did Live Free or Die Hard. He directed and wrote that. And he also did um, Total Recall, which is, again, his wife at the time, or his ex-wife at the time was in that. Um, and he's done, like, maybe, like, he was an executive producer for, like, 35 episodes of Lucifer. And he's done his other things from there. If you guys want more, you can go look at his IMBD. So there you go. So leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you guys think. Ciao for now.